Yo, what's up guys? So this is a guide on how to install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive for free. So hook it into the computer. We are gonna need an up and running computer. It just popped up right here. We're gonna need an internet connection. So we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna download from Microsoft's website, the media creation tool. Just came up. So it should be the first result. I'll post a link in the description to make it easier. So we're gonna have to download this and I'm just gonna put run the tool right now. So it's downloaded and I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. This is from Microsoft's website. Getting a few things ready. So before we go through the setup process, this is gonna be our finished product. We're gonna have a clean install of Windows 10 with one downside. See this bottom right watermark? It says activate Windows, go to settings to activate Windows. So if you wanna do it free of charge, you're gonna be installing an unactivated version of Windows. What does that mean? Well, really all it means is that you're gonna have a bottom right watermark telling you to activate Windows. It will still function like an activated version of Windows. You'll be able to browse the internet or play your video games, whatever you wanna do. So maybe the watermark doesn't bother you and you don't mind, but maybe it does bother you. Well, you later have the option to activate it. Just buy a key, insert it, and the watermark will go away. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this. I'll create media installation. So the language you want is English, Windows 10, and we do want 64-bit. Most modern systems are 64-bit. If you're upgrading an older desktop or an older laptop, you can uncheck this and select like 32-bit. But most modern systems are 64-bit, such as this PC right here. But if you suspect your system is quite outdated and it may be a 32-bit, you can check by going to your File Explorer and we're gonna go to Desktop. No, we're gonna go to this PC. And when we're at this PC, up here you see System Properties. And it tells us right here the system type. It's a 64-bit operating system. So that's how you check your system type. I know if you're running an older OS like Windows 7 and the navigation may be slightly different, but it's still gonna be found in this PC and system properties up here. So let's see what system type this laptop is running. I'm pretty sure it's a 64-bit too, but we'll find out right now. Okay, so just like on Windows 10, it's the same thing. We're gonna right click our folder, go to Windows Explorer, and then we're gonna go to not this PC right here, it just says computer. So go to computer and you'll find it up here. Like once again, system properties clicking system properties and this is yep I was correct this is a pretty old system too, Windows 7 but yet this is also a 64-bit operating system so a 32-bit operating system is very rare to find unless you're running like an ancient PC so we're gonna go ahead and leave it at 64-bit next select USB flash drive next so I only have one USB flash drive hooked up to the PC so I know it's this one Oh, and one important detail I forgot to mention, make sure the flash drive you're using is at least eight gigabytes in size. It could be more than that, but it cannot be less than that. So a four gigabyte or a two gigabyte flash drive will not work. So the one I'm using is an eight gigabyte flash drive. I'll link it down below in the video description. It's very cheap. I think it's only like $5. So this media creation tool we just downloaded, what does it do exactly? Well, when you downloaded the tool, you didn't download the Windows 10 operating system right away. The Windows 10 operating system is gonna download using this tool. So that's what it's doing right now. It's downloading the Windows 10 operating system. So it's finished downloading Windows 10. Now it says creating Windows 10 media, which means it's now copying it onto our USB flash drive. So go ahead and click finish and it's done. We should be good now. Turn off the computer, shut down. So there, we've copied over a bootable Windows 10 image onto this USB flash drive. So now we're gonna be doing a clean install of Windows onto this PC. And when I turn on the computer, well, you guys will see right now. So when we first turn on the computer, we're gonna see a splash screen. Now this flash screen tells us what key on our keyboard to press to boot to our BIOS. So right now my flash screen is telling me press F2 or press delete rapidly on my keyboard so I could boot into the BIOS. The splash screen doesn't stay open very long so if you miss the timing period, just turn off your computer and try it again. So we're now in our BIOS, but before we do anything, I just wanna mention that if you're building a new PC, like a new gaming PC with a hard drive that's completely empty, doesn't have any Windows version on it, then you should be able to just plug in your USB flash drive, turn on the computer, and the motherboard will automatically boot to the flash drive because it'll detect that your hard drive doesn't have anything on it. But this PC's hard drive already has Windows installed on it. So we need to let the motherboard know that we want the USB flash drive to be our boot priority. So all I have to do is just drag the USB all the way to the top. So I'm not gonna put save and exit. The PC will now reboot itself and it should now boot directly to your USB flash drive. So that's how you do it on a modern system. But what if you're doing it on an older system, such as a laptop? This is my neighbor's laptop. It's old. It's got a lot of stuff on it that slows it down and we don't need. And it's old. I just said that Windows 7. We don't want that. We want the latest and greatest Windows 10. It's a more optimized operating system. So we're going to turn off our laptop. We have one USB port right here. And I don't think that turned off our laptop. 
Laptops are funny. I think some, a lot of laptops, when you press the power button, it'll just put it to sleep instead of shutting it down. So just make sure your laptop is turned off. You could always go to Windows and then shut down, you know, manually. But our laptop's off now, so I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna see the BIOS right there, boot options. So yeah, different PCs, it might be a different key. It might be F12, it may, it may be delete, it may be F2, but the BIOS splash screen will always tell you. And if you miss the timing period to press the key, just turn off your laptop and try it again. And now you know which one it is and you'll bring it up. So I brought it up. So where do we want to boot from? We want to boot from our USB drive. So I'm using the arrow keys to navigate to our USB storage device. And as you can see, that BIOS is a lot older than on our modern system. On our modern system, it was a lot more nice looking. Different computers have different motherboards and different motherboards have different BIOSes. They look different. But what you wanna do is you just wanna get your computer to boot to your USB drive, not to the hard drive on it. Because our Windows 10 operating system is on the USB drive. So it's reading now from our USB drive, so we're in. We're not gonna start the process of installing Windows onto our hard drive. So click install now. Setup is starting, just let it load. Now this is what I was talking about. If you don't mind the watermark, go ahead and put, I don't have a product key. If you have a product key, you enter your product key right here. So I'm gonna select I don't have a product key. So this is where you select the version of Windows 10 that you want to install. Now the typical one is Windows 10 Pro. That's the one I'm gonna be installing. Just pretend like you read this. I accept the license terms, next. Which type of installation do you want? Select custom. So if you're installing it on a brand new empty hard drive, it should only have one partition. So go ahead and select the one partition and click next. This is not an empty hard drive, so we have two partitions right here. So you gotta make sure you delete all the partitions. Your hard drive may have more partitions, so just select each one, click delete. To your left with only one partition. Then select that single partition and click next. Oh, and of course, make sure you have all your data backed up because this will delete everything on the hard drive. It's not gonna start installing Windows. No, it's just a waiting game, just chillax. It should be done fairly quickly. And it's finished, Windows will now restart. And right now it's just gonna load everything up, set up your desktop for the first time. It's just configuring things, just let it do its thing. And during this process, it's normal that the computer will then turn off and then restart again. Remember the boot priority is set to the flash drive? I forgot to take off the flash drive, so now look, we're back at the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the computer, turn it off, and take out the flash drive. So it won't boot to this anymore since our Windows 10 is already installed on here now. So now we're gonna turn it on. Same thing goes for the laptop. And eventually we'll make it to this screen. And when you reach this point, you're pretty much done. You did it, it's pretty simple. I'll go ahead and guide you through it. So just go ahead and select what applies to you, United States, keyboard layout, I'm gonna pick US. Want to add a second keyboard layout, skip. Let's connect you to a network. I'm just gonna put skip for now. Type in your username, create a password. I don't want a password, next. Make Cortana your personal assistant, sure. Choose privacy settings for your device. So go ahead and toggle these on or off, whatever you prefer, accept. So once again, just the waiting game. And eventually we'll boot into our desktop and we're done. We did it, congrats. And see, it's pretty weird because there is no watermark right here. Sometimes it appears and sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, guys, that's how you install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive for free. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below. Thanks for watching, peace. <laughs>